Hey guys, I'm here from Transformers and Video Games, and welcome back to the channel. I'm just on my way home from a short visit with my parents, where I had a look around and ended up finding my vintage 1980s toy collection. So, I thought I'd pull over on my way home, open it up, and show you what's inside. So stick around for more. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a relatively new member of the Transformers YouTube community. His name is Ultra Marcus. He's been doing Transformers pickups videos, as well as a few general discussion videos, but so far the bulk of his content has been Transformers stop motion, and I've got to tell you that there's something really special about these videos. The animation is smooth and realistic, the voice acting is on point, and his sense of humor and creativity shines through in every video. I absolutely absolutely love what he's doing on his channel so far. If you like Transformers stop motion and want to be entertained, I'd highly recommend checking out Ultra Marcus. And if you like what you see, be sure to leave him some words of encouragement and of course subscribe for more. Okay, so before we get into this, let me just preface this video by saying, back in the 80s, my family didn't have a lot of extra money for non-essentials. So for the most part, this modest collection that I'm about to show you was purchased by me with my allowance, birthday money, and maybe just extra money that I might have saved up by doing chores around the house. Um, so having said that, without delay, let's get right into this. This brings back a lot of memories. I'm seeing a lot of accessories and that sort of thing in here. So I think what I'm gonna do to keep this a little bit shorter is I, I'm just gonna show you the main stuff. And if there's enough interest, maybe I'll do a part two video where I show each of the items um, grouped together with all of their respective accessories. So having said that, let's get right into it. Here we've got the G.I. Joe Watchtower. I remember there was a ladder that pegged into the front. There was a spotlight that fit onto the back here or onto the side and a machine gun fit onto the other side. Remember having a lot of fun with that. One thing that I do find impressive looking back on it, and you won't be able to see this unless I can sort of catch it in the light perfectly, but they used almost like, um, I forget what it's called, that sort of uh, diamond uh, plating detail on the floor of this watchtower. And um, I don't know if they would do that nowadays. It's just extra details that I think they looked at back then um, that really added play value and added realism to some of this stuff. Um, next we've got the Cobra Claw. Essentially, this was just a motorized hang glider. You could remove this missile from the bottom and peg a guy into it and he could pilot uh, this vehicle. I remember having a lot of fun with that. Next we have, <clears throat> this was from our G.I. Joe firing range. Um... Uh, Speaking of the firing range, here is one of the targets. Another target. And if I'm not mistaken, there was actually a sign that said firing range. Uh, next we've got, I think this was from like a little ammo set. It's, it's supposed to be like a little wooden storage box that would snap together. And it came with a bunch of extra stuff. Um, I mean, probably this rocket launcher and just ammunition and stuff that the uh, figures could use. Here's a flag here from the Watchtower set. Uh, let's get into the figures. Uh, sorry, here's a, here's a tent. Now, as far as the figures are concerned, this was, is Snow Serpent. Uh, really loose knees. I remember this guy took some serious beatdowns over the years. Um, I remember I'd have the uh, G.I. Joes really gang up on this guy, teach him a lesson. Here is Quick Kick. Super floppy legs on him. The story behind him is that I remember at the time wanting Storm Shadow or Cobra Ninja. If you grew up in the 80s, ninjas were all the rage. I remember I loved stuff like that, ninja movies and that sort of thing. Now, when I went to the store, of course, Storm Shadow wasn't there. And uh, Quick Kick, being a martial artist, was 
I guess the next best thing. So I ended up buying him. Um, this is <clears throat> Iceberg. If I'm not mistaken, this was maybe the last G.I. Joe I got. I remember my cousin was in town and he bought this for me, I think for my birthday or something. <clears throat> I was sort of losing interest in, in G.I. Joe's at that time. Um, that's probably why this figure is in such great shape. But uh, it's still a cool figure. Uh, next, we have the leaders of the, or the Crimson Guard commanders, Tomax and Samot. Um, the one that's intact here is Tomax, and the reason I know that is he doesn't have a scar on his cheek. The gimmick with these guys back in the day is that they were mirror images of each other, so I thought that was really neat. Um, I'm sure I've got the rest of this guy in this bin. It looks like the O-ring has just snapped, so that's fine. Probably order uh, a bunch of them off of eBay or something like that and restore some of these figures. I think this was the second figure I ever bought. Uh, his name is Ripcord. Again, the O-ring has snapped. Uh, he was really cool. He was a parachute uh, uh, para-jumper, I guess. Um, so I've still got his rubber parachute here. I remember there was a mail-away, if I'm not mistaken, a mail-away G.I. Joe figure you could get that actually had a parachute that opened up. I remember a friend of mine had brought uh, had brought that to school once. Now, I know when I bought this figure, I knew that this was the parachute he came with, but I remember at the time thinking how cool it would have been if he'd actually come with a, a working parachute. Um, here is Gung Ho. Again, broken in half. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this was my first G.I. Joe figure that I ever bought. Uh, I liked him because he was, I guess we can say he was quasi-realistic with the camouflage pants. Um, I guess the um, you wouldn't really see somebody on a battlefield with a green jean jacket and no shirt and uh, arms cut off at the sleeves. But I mean, you know, he had a, a military style hat. And I remember I just liked the, the realism uh, of him at the time. You can see a little knife on his boot. Um, I think that's it for G.I. Joe figures. Uh, real quick, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, but I had the foresight to save all of the little um, file cards. Uh, here's Ripcord. The uh, Crimson Guard Commanders. Gung Ho. Iceberg. Um... Crimson Guard, although I don't see him in here. There is Quick Kick, Snow Serpent, and uh, this was like a promotion, similar to the Transformers. Instead of a catalog, uh, I guess this was on, well, you can see here it was it was part of the, the uh, card back, but they would give you a little advertisement for other figures that were, were I guess, part of that wave, but I remember spending probably hours uh, planning which figures I wanted to buy next. So I remember this was pretty cool. I saved, I guess not all of them, but I have four of them or three of them right here. It's funny, I had the foresight to save the file cards and the, uh, and the advertisement. I don't know why I just didn't save the entire card, but it is what it is. This is my pro yo-yo with no string. Uh, I remember when I was in grade I want to say grade seven, uh, a friend of mine, we had a secret Santa at school with like, I think a $5 uh, limit on what you could buy for the uh, the person whose name you chose. And he got me this pro yo-yo. This is in great shape. I used this quite a bit, but I never used it outside. So when you try to do various tricks, um, this would get um, chipped up if you were using it on like asphalt or something. But I remember using this in the house on carpet and that sort of thing. So mine's in really good condition after all these years. Uh, when it comes to Transformers, uh, here is G1 Huffer. Looking pretty good. You can see his Autobot sticker has fallen off. Uh, Beachcomber. There he is in his robot mode. This is the rub sign version. Um, next here is G1 Dead End. 
Uh, I remember watching the Sunbow television show. I love that episode when the Decepticons uh, created the Stundicons. And I remember I wanted to get all the parts for Menasaur, but either I couldn't find them at the store, um, or when I did see them at the store, I didn't have the money to buy them. But anyway, I ended up getting one of them. Of course, as an adult collector, I've completed the set. Uh, at some point, I'll get around to reviewing them. Uh, if you grew up in the 80s, then you might have owned a calculator watch. This was a Casio data bank. This was one of two calculator watches I owned back in the day. And I remember I really liked them. I was really proud of them for whatever reason. Obviously, it's pretty geeky looking back at it. But uh, I remember I had like a $10 calculator watch um, that uh, my friend's dad uh, bought for me. He, he got one for me and one for my friend. I just had to give them the money. And this was one I think I had saved up for myself. This was probably around 80 bucks or something Canadian back in the day. And the neat thing about it was that, uh, again, it was a data bank. So it would store, I don't remember if this is the one that did 50 or 100 telephone numbers. Now, why I would have needed that back in the day is beyond me because um, I certainly wouldn't have had that many friends or, um, or acquaintances that I would have needed that kind of storage, but it is what it is. Uh, next, we have um, any fans of Dukes of Hazard out there. Uh, here are some cars that I had, uh, sort of Matchbox or Hot Wheels style, style cars. This was uh, Roscoe's Police Cruiser. Here is Boss Hogg's vehicle. I don't know what kind of car this was. You can see one of the front little horns on his uh, hood ornament has broken off. Hopefully you're able to see this. I know the lighting's not great here in the car. This is Daisy Duke's Jeep. Nice uh, eagle uh, tampograph on the hood. And uh, last but not least, Here's the General Lee. If I'm not mistaken, this was a 69 Charger. Uh, very cool cars, um, but really an iconic um, car from the 80s. Anybody from the 80s certainly knows the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, this was another Hot Wheels car. I don't know what kind of vehicle this is. I mean, if anybody knows, by all means, let me know in the comments. Um, I played with this one a lot. This one rolled better than any of my other uh, Hot Wheels cars, and for whatever reason, it was faster and rolled further. So this got a lot of play. Uh, very fun, I remember. And uh, I don't know what this is doing in there, but uh, a piece of an O. Henry chocolate bar wrapper. And again, if you grew up in the 80s, you might remember the whole craze with Rubik's Cubes and that sort of thing. I remember my family had got us, they were knockoff Rubik's Cubes. Um, I think they were called Wonder Puzzlers, but those looked exactly like the Rubik's Cube minus the uh, Rubik's branding. But this was a little uh, pyramid shaped puzzle that was like a Rubik's Cube, but obviously pyramid shaped. It was on a keychain. Now you can see it's complete, like all the, um, all the colors match up. I was never able to successfully do this or puzzles, uh, at least not this puzzle. So I'm guessing that my brother did this one or um, maybe there was a way to take it apart and put it back together and line up all the colors. Um, other than that, before I wrap this one up, um, I did find something kind of interesting. Here are some GI Joe um, proof of purchase points. Now I have some of this stuff cut out here I don't remember ever see, uh, sending away for anything. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. But it's very cool to still have the little... Um, it's, it's like the robot points for the Transformers. Now, I said I wasn't going to show all the accessories here, and I'm not. But I do see I have the backpack for Crimson Guard. So that leads me to believe that I either have maybe... Uh, it would certainly be a smaller um, assortment of toys either at my parents' place. Um, I don't think I've come across it. Um, with my own stuff, but I definitely had Crimson Guard. So uh, I'm not sure where that figure is. And I had a couple of other GoBots that are, aren't in here as well that I thought I would have found with this um, uh, in this bin. Uh, 
But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it at that for, for today. Thank you very much for your patience uh, and for sticking with me through this video. Again, this is a very modest collection. Um, these are all things that I played with back in the day, things that I hold very dear to me. So I thought it'd be fun to just uh, shoot a quick video. Um, speaking of, of videos, let me know what you think of this style of video where I just sort of pull over and talk about something or show something. Um, it's very difficult to find time these days. I'm very busy at work. Uh, I've got some excitement going on at work right now where I'm taking on some new responsibilities. So I'm just, I find I'm pretty wiped out when I get home. I'm of course still doing reviews, but it's, uh, it's very time efficient for me to be able to just pull over and maybe shoot a raw off the cuff video like this one. If you like this kind of video, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I do find it kind of, kind of fun and exciting to do. Um, but if you like them, let me know. I might shoot more videos like this. And uh, if not, of course, I can always scale it back and um, uh, pretty much just upload reviews and that kind of thing. But anyways, thanks again for watching, everybody. Leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think of my collection. Uh, if you like this kind of video, I'm going to either leave... Um, uh, I'll, I'll link these two videos in the description or I'll leave end cards at the end that you can click on them. But I did buy a vintage 1980s toy collection last year. Uh, those videos have gotten some decent traction on my channel. So you might be interested in checking those out. Um, and I'm going to leave that for leave that right here for today. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Take care.